back with another review for another movie that came out this year because I'm not a big fan of movie all movies. I might do that in my next video, but we're doing another new movie. It's relatively new, just came out digital. But you guys obviously know it. One of the highest grossing movies of this year, except like Mario Barbie, but you know. It is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That's right, the sequel to one of the most groundbreaking, amazing animated movies of all time. Uh, you you gotta know it. I'm gonna get this a good review because it's, it's freaking Spider-Verse. It's gonna hate Spider-Verse, you know? And um, it's just such a good movie. Like, the animation is amazing, the characters are amazing, the arcs are amazing. And that ending, the cliffhanger, makes me want to jump out to the screen, go to Sony, make the movie, make it good, you know, make the movie and go watch it again in theaters in the same day. That cliffhanger from Sea Miles is some counterpart and everything. Dude, one of my favorite cliffhanger endings of all time. And I've seen the movie, Cliffhanger. You know, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so I love how they really got us into the whole perspective of Gwen, how she sees stuff, how she thinks Miles is doing, how she um, makes another friend besides Miles and which makes Miles, you know, kind of mad, you know? And I really like how we got to explore her character more. Cause she was sort of like a cute girl character, you know? I'm 15 by the way. I'm literally like mild fit, so I can say that when it's hot. Reddit is creepy when it comes to Wednesday, okay? You gotta look up our song partner and just wonder how many creeps are on that subreddit. Okay. Anyways, um other thoughts about the movie, I love Miguel O'Hara as sort of like an anti-hero, because you know, he's a broken man, you know, he's got like he lost his daughter and lost his whole universe simply because of Rick McCann event, which is some pretty sad backstory, you know. You've seen the memes like me you know, watching the alternate universe if I never downloaded the TikTok and it's just him depressed, which is relatable, you know. And um, I'm also trying to think. I love the spot too, because you know, he is like you think of Spider-Man Dylan, you think Dr. Octavius, you got the lizard, you got the vulture, Electro, all the main villains, but the spot a guy that can put holes in the different universes, that guy, oh, he's a weird guy. He has a legion of losers, for, for Christ's sake, man. But, um, he is actually a really good villain. He gets pissed off because he was disrespected by his family. Spider-Man threw a bagel at him. That's like the whole meme. And people are like, oh my god, it's him. He's the bagel guy, <laughs> you know? And it's just so good. And coincidental, by the way, but two multiversal movies that came out recently are about bagels. We've got everything everywhere all at once and Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Like, which one's gonna have a bagel next? Like, I don't know, like, The Flash? I don't know how to bagel in it. <laughs> but, um, also, I love how Peter B. Parker actually has Mayday, which means Miles wasn't so, so Miles wasn't supposed to be created, which means Peter Parker was never, Peter B. Parker, by the way, not Peter Parker, he's dead, you know, good, you know. But, um, Peter B. Parker, he has a baby because of Miles, but Miles is an anomaly, which means the baby, Mayday, should not be there, which means she's probably an anomaly too. But what's gonna happen to be the child? You know, she's not even supposed to be Spider-Man. She's probably gonna be after the Spider-Man. We don't know. But I can't wait to see where the story goes, and I'm going to be a Spider-Man across Spider-Verse a 9.7 out of 10. Thank you so much, Sony, for making amazing Spider-Verse movies. Let the talented people do what they want. I can't wait for it to be on the Spider-Verse in 2024. Peace, guys.